Hello and welcome to today's Bitcoin price prediction video. And yes, Bitcoin is right now seeing a small bounce towards the upside without taking the liquidity below our previous low. But in this video, we are going to talk about one of the most bullish indications that could occur on Bitcoin very, very soon if a specific level is going to see a break towards the upside on the RSI indicator. And on top of that, I need to share with you a massive, a giant diagonal level of support nobody is talking about on the monthly time frame. But first of all, what we are going to see. It really looks like that Bitcoin yesterday got a small bounce towards the upside, but we simply failed to break through our previous lows. We got a rejection at our daily high term time frame level of resistance and another push towards downside on the Bitcoin price actually occurred. But what you're going to see, it was still another higher low without breaking through the liquidity level at 20,700 US dollars. But what you're going to see, because Bitcoin started forming slightly higher low on the one hour time frame, Ethereum actually started creating a significant lower low. Ethereum in this case was a weaker asset and because we got a lower low right here and on the Bitcoin chart a higher low, we started forming a smart, smart money divergence on both of those assets. Bullish indication without breaking through the low and we are right now seeing a slight rotation back towards the upside. But let me right now show you why is Bitcoin actually seeing a push towards the upside without taking the liquidity below our previous low just yet. We can actually go on the daily time frame and we we are going to connect our higher lows with a parallel channel. So connecting our higher lows, you're going to see we are literally bouncing exactly at a diagonal level support, expanding this one slightly higher. And it really looks like that for the past couple of days, for the past couple of weeks, the entire time we have been trading at the area of 20,000 US dollars, we have been very nicely respecting an ascending channel. Of course, a break towards downside out of this ascending channel is going to mean it is going to be bearish Bitcoin indication, but I can already see. If Bitcoin, for example, is going to be able to break a diagonal level of support towards downside, once again, there is a liquidity level, get everyone bearish, potentially grab liquidity, and only then continue our way towards the upside. Remember, after such a big push towards downside, we are not bearish. We are only interested to fire on our long or a buying position on Bitcoin. And of course, later in the video, I am going to share with you some trading ideas. But nevertheless, right now, I would like to share with you what would be one of the biggest bullish indications we would really like to see on Bitcoin if we would like to continue our way towards the upside. Of course, yesterday we were mentioning that our hash ribbons indicator actually printed a buy signal on the daily time frame. But in my opinion right here, this is not enough for me to actually say that the bottom for Bitcoin is actually in. Let me go on the weekly time frame where you're going to see if Bitcoin is in the upcoming hours, in the next 14 hours, going to close the weekly candle right as it is right now, we are going to see a rejection also on the RSI indicator. Connecting our lower highs with a diagonal, you're actually going to see that we are seeing a perfect rejection exactly at a diagonal level of resistance. And a similar thing we can also do on the price action on the Bitcoin price, going towards the all-time high, connecting a lower high right here, a very similar diagonal level of resistance. So what we can say, despite having a hash ribbons indicator printing a buy signal on the daily time frame, we need to see a confirmation on the Bitcoin price for us to actually say, okay, the bottom is in and let's continue our way towards the upside. The biggest bullish indication I would like to see break through a diagonal on the Bitcoin price and break through a diagonal on the RSI indicator, one of the biggest bullish indications. And only then I would be expecting another major push towards the upside on the Bitcoin price. But let me right now also share with you another diagonal level that could be identified on the monthly time frame. And I believe not a lot of people are even paying attention to that. We are going to connect our higher lows with a diagonal on the logarithmic chart. And you can see that currently Bitcoin is definitely trading very, very close to this diagonal level of support. And going right now on the monthly time frame once again and identifying where we do have a monthly level of support, it is going to be 19,900 approximately let's just say 20,000 US dollars. This monthly level of support is very close 
to a diagonal level of support right here. So I would definitely say, if, for example, Bitcoin does continue lower without a liquidity grab below our previous low and we actually break through our ascending channel towards the downside, our very important price target is actually going to be a diagonal and the monthly level of support at approximately 20,000 US dollars on the Bitcoin price. But before right now, we talk about the heat map where other bigger players are setting their long positions on the Bitcoin price. If you haven't already, please smash up the like button because the goal for this video would actually be to reach not 650 but 660 likes on today's video and thank you very much if you're right now actually smashed the like button let's go on the four hour time frame where you're going to see that we can definitely identify fibonacci expansion price targets right here we can go from our previous low to our previous high here at 25,200. go with the fibonacci expansions and yes you can see 1.618 fibonacci expansion level on bitcoin 20,775 us dollars which is going to be slightly below our previous low right here. On top of that, we can go remember with our Fibonacci retracement from swing low, we are going to go to the swing high, measuring the entire push towards the upside with a Fibonacci retracement, and we are going to go only with a golden pocket. And what you can see, golden pocket is very, very close to our Fibonacci expansion level. And on top of that, looking right now where other bigger players are setting their buying positions slightly below our previous lows, we are going to have first longs at approximately 20,700, but more long positions, limit buying positions are right now in their order book at the area of 20,500 where we actually have approximately 850 bitcoins of limit long positions and what you can see 20,500 is going to be literally almost exactly at 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level, very close to our Fibonacci expansion and our previous low. So I would definitely say, preferably, I would like to see a push towards the downside on the Bitcoin price, hitting at least the golden pocket, or at least I would say break through the lows right here to get everyone bearish because people are going to think we are breaking an ascending channel towards downside. And only then remember, it needs to be a confirmed swing failure pattern. We need to see open interest pushed towards downside, people getting wrecked, and on top of that, a reaction towards the upside. Only then we are going to know we successfully grabbed the liquidity. There are actually buyers at the golden pocket, and only then I would be comfortable entering a long or a buy position at this area. I do not have anything preset at right here, but all I have preset, of course, it is going to be an alert because I would like to get alerted when Bitcoin potentially is going to hit our golden Fibonacci ratio at approximately 20,500 US dollars on the Bitcoin price. Now, I would also like to show you that on a lower term time frame, for example, 30 minute time frame, we can definitely identify some kind of a horizontal range. We can connect our previous lows that we are forming for the past couple of hours right here, and we can also connect our previous highs. And you're going to see that currently on a lower term time frame, Bitcoin simply has been trading in a horizontal range. We pulled into the range with a dump, and theoretically speaking, we do have a higher probability of breaking our horizontal range towards downside. Now, before we talk about a very important level of resistance, if you would like to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum with us, make sure you are securing an insane bonus because on BitGet right now, you can be getting more than 4,000 US dollars for free in trading bonus. Sign up with this specific link. This exchange also offers copy trading. So make sure you register. After initial deposit, you get the bonus. You can trade with the bonus and we draw the profits to your own wallet. All of the free major bonuses are available down below for you for free in the description. I need to show you what is going to be a very important level looking in our range because remember yesterday, we already went with our Fibonacci retracement from swing high to swing low right here identified the golden pocket exactly at our previous high at the top of the range. And now, because Bitcoin a couple of hours ago also got another push towards downside forming a higher low, we can actually update our volume levels. Connecting all of our bottom price action with volume, you can see that our value area high is going to be slightly lower than our golden pocket. And of course, our value area low is very close to our previous high. So I would definitely say, if I would be looking for short or sell positions of Bitcoin, is going to be on a successful swing failure pattern or a liquidity grab at the golden Fibonacci ratio. Open interest decrease on a push towards the upside with a rejection down is bearish indication and only then I would fire a short position or potentially if we are going to see trapped long positions exactly the top. So what you would like to see, buying pressure coming into the market, open interest increasing, not able to push the price higher, wick towards the upside and of course also on top of that I would then potentially fire a short or a sell position position at the level of resistance, 21,600. If there is going to be no sign of weakness, if we smash through the level 
of course only then i would be expecting higher but of course our higher target that i would be paying attention to are going to be our previous lows right here because uh, this area we do not really have any major levels of resistances and our first level of resistance approximately 22,300 us dollars where we actually do have our previous lows right here now yesterday bitcoin actually did confirm a brand new daily high term time frame level of support so because our yesterday's daily candle was actually green we do have right now brand new daily level of support 20,800 us dollars and this level in my opinion is going to be very very important especially if we are going to see another rotation towards downside remember before we were talking about that our previous lows we also have right here a golden pocket and fibonacci expansion and that is the reason why this area is a very nice support level and on top of that what you're going to see right now we also have our daily high term time frame level at 20,800 so I would definitely say this area is a very nice level of support right here and only on a successful swing failure pattern I would definitely say we are going to have a very high probability long positions in our hands now what you can also see on the CME futures chart is that currently of course CME futures are closed and they were closed at approximately 21,200 US dollars so slightly lower than what we are trading at the moment but nevertheless I would definitely say CME futures are currently closed or I would say literally in our horizontal range so potentially of course we feel the CME gap or preferably even grab liquidity and then of course see reaction what is going to happen at our previous lows are we actually going to break an ascending channel towards downside or is then actually going to be a swing failure pattern a liquidity grab towards downside now what you can also see is going to be with one of the very important indicators on the daily time frame we are currently reaching oversold area oversold usually means that we are near the bottom or the bottom for bitcoin is actually and of course remember yesterday yes i was still saying that in my opinion we do have a very high probability of the red elite wave count right here playing out that said we are going to actually break through the low at 17,500. but remember we are always taking what the market is giving us and we are always trading from level to level knowing that our first level is below our previous lows i would definitely not hesitate to enter a long position if there is going to be a successful swing failure pattern and on top of that remember before we were talking about a massive diagonal support level that could be identified on the weekly and the monthly time frame of course our next level if there's going to be a no liquidity grab is going to be 20,000, where we have a diagonal and the monthly high term time frame level support only if those levels are going to see a break towards downside i would potentially look for lower targets of course and then of course for this red elite wave potentially to play out so once again what is my trading idea i am looking to primarily long the swing failure patterns or liquidity grabs or maybe even the monthly high term time frame level of support where of course we also have a lot of confluences in this area of course it is going to be very strong level of support on the bitcoin price in terms of day trades or scope trades i would only be interested to, to potentially fire maybe a short position of course at the level of resistance at the area of the top of our horizontal range 21,600. if there is going to be trapped long positions or potentially of course we are going to see people getting cracked with the open interest decrease and with the liquidation spike but nevertheless right now bitcoin is already trading at a very nice level of support so let's see if maybe on monday that being said tomorrow we are maybe going to grab liquidity and only then potentially continue our way towards the upside on the bitcoin price but if you haven't already right now please smash up the like button subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have an amazing rest of your day peace out